All right. I need some time off to rethink my entire YouTube, my entire content strategy, because recently I've been feeling that the kind of content that I've been uploading and the kind of content that I've been pushing out is is not exactly what the content that I want to that I want to create is it's not exactly 100% authentic because and the reason for that is that I just made this uh, upload schedule that I thought okay I'm going to post 3 days a week and I I'm going to be consistent with that I'm going to keep pushing out content and the pressure of doing that along with uh, with 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 my part time job with along with the freelance projects that I got on a book, along with engaging with my community, along with sharing feedback, along with sculpting, along with Spooktuber challenge. It's it's just way too much. And I've always been about the grind, working hard, making time for things, but there's, there's so much that you can put on your plate. And I think I have way too much on my plate right now. The system that I have currently is, I just realized that it is not something that I can carry on or I can sustain for a very long time. Because recently I just went over to my in-laws and I stayed over there. We, we, sp we, we, we had a great time. We played board games. We stayed up a bit late and I went to bed way later than what's my usual bedtime. And the next morning I got up late. And when I got up late, my entire schedule moved forward and completing all those tasks took me, took me way longer. And then I slept late again. The next morning I woke up late again and then this downward spiral just carried on. It was very frustrating because I, I wasn't able to fully perform the tasks that I do. I wasn't able to do them very well. And just the pressure of maintaining this consistent upload schedule was, was too much. And I feel like the recent content that I pushed out, it's, it's not exactly as valuable as I want it to be. It's not entirely planned out or structured the way that I wanted it to be. And I was just uploading it for the sake of, of meeting my deadlines, of meeting my upload schedule. And it's, it's not fair. It is not fair. And I don't feel very happy. I don't feel very proud of doing that. But also I had this guilt and I also was ashamed and I also had this fear. And my ego was in the way of me admitting that, okay, I can do things wrong. I talk about self-improvement. I talk about productivity. And what's going to happen if I admit these things? Uh, if, I, if I admit these things, then, then yeah, I'll be... I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be letting down so many people. The people they cheer for me, they, they they support me, and I don't want to let them down. I don't want to. I don't want to show weakness in front of them. But if I do that, I don't do that. Then I'm not being authentic. Then I'm not being honest. The reason that I created this channel was was so, just so that I could document my journey. It was to so that I can create the kind of content that I wish I had. Because I never got to see the struggles of my favorite artists. I never got to see the struggles of my favorite YouTubers. I never got to see them working on their insecurities and improving and then, and then seeing their mistakes, they learning from their mistakes. If I don't document these L's, if I don't document these failures, then, then I'm not being authentic. Then I'm not being true to my purpose. Then I'm not being true to the, to the reason why I created this, this channel in the first place. And... I made this post inside my school as well, inside my community as well. And then I deleted it because I was ashamed. I deleted it out, out of cowardness. I, I chickened out. I thought that, okay, maybe I can just work hard. Maybe I just need a few more days and then I can get everything back on schedule. And then I don't have to admit that. I, I can just pretend that this never happened. But it's not true. This is something that I cannot sustain for a very long time. My, my entire structure, it cannot be this fragile that just one day of me sleeping late and then waking up late just just stumbles everything down just crumbles everything down it, it 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 shouldn't be this fragile also i have my sister coming back to pakistan after after one and a half years she's coming back from the uk and and my niece she was this little when she went abroad she's coming back as well i want to spend time with them i just realized that this pressure of creating content of I was also making a game course on the side uh, and staying active in the community participating in these challenges doing all of this is it's it's I have to admit that it's a bit too over, overwhelming for me right now it's a bit too much for me right now this is not something that I can I can stay consistent with so I need this time off so that I can just lift off this pressure and so that I can rethink my entire strategy I can rethink my entire content 
the the kind of content that i think is going to be the most valuable the kind of content that i want to create is is longer guides is longer videos that that just that just talks about specific problems and then provides solution with, along with examples along with, with with my stories that is the kind of content that i want to create but making that longer content requires me to script that content because i i really want to plan content out if i don't plan content out it's not it's not Uh, as valuable as as it as it should be when i made these complete guides they are very very precise laser focus on getting you results if i don't script my videos think think them through it's it's not well structured it's not valuable it's not then i'm just putting it out for the sake of for for the sake of putting it out for the sake of uploading content but not for the sake of providing you with value that is not the content that i wanted for myself so why should i put it out for you so i really need time to think back to structure this better i can reduce the the upload schedule i don't give a shit about the upload schedule anymore i think it's it's not a healthy thing to do what i should be concerned about is am i being authentic what i should be concerned about is is this content providing value to be honest i i heard hamza talk about this as well he's the youtuber that i really watched i watched a lot and then he talked about that whenever you start to get appreciation for your work or you get any positive feedback you want to keep getting that positive feedback and then it just puts you in this pressure it just puts you it just puts you in this place mentally that you think okay i i'm i'm helping these people and i'm going to keep helping and then you just make content that you think is going to make them happy and what you lose in the process is what what is making you happy so i'm i just realized that i'm making content that i think is going to please others i don't want to do that in the process of pleasing others i'm losing my own authenticity which is which is bothering me which is really is disturbing which is which is really affecting me uh, but 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 the pressure of having this consistent schedule is just is just way too much and then i keep making content i just want to stop i just want to take some time i just want to take a breather to just analyze stuff I just want to lift off this pressure to to rethink my strategy and to make content that I can be proud of that I think yeah this is authentic. I know this is valuable. And as hard as it is I I am making this video to admit and to take the L. So yeah, this work is a bit too much for me. It's I'm not able to manage it very well right now and I do need some time off. I do need some time to rethink this. And I just gathered up the mustard. I just mustered up the courage, and then I made this post inside my community. And the feedback that I got was, it it, it was really heartwarming. I I got told that don't be ashamed. It's totally okay. Take a step back, it, and and we'll cheer you when you come back. The other one was, yeah, it's a really wise thing to do. Don't worry about it. We'll keep the community active. We'll keep engaging, so you don't have to worry about the community. Don't. It, it's one less thing for you to worry about. Just focus on you getting better. Focus on whatever you think is is beneficial. the the another comment was that uh, we want what is the best for you so if you think that this is the best step go ahead and take it and it, i wasn't expecting this kind of support really so so thank you so much really thank you so much also i think that i just have a lot that i want to talk about i want to talk about youtube i want to talk about self improvement i want to talk about sculpting i want to talk about um yeah <laughs> this is what i want to talk about and currently i cannot figure out a structure i cannot manage making content about sculpting and self improvement and youtube and everything else about your insecurities about blah 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 mental health whatever <laughs> i i really need this time off and i bought this this writing course by dan ko which is another youtuber that i really admire i i recently found his content and i think it's very beneficial it just resonated with me so much and i was going through this i was going through these thoughts when i saw his content i watched his video and i really liked it so i went ahead and bought his course his course basically teaches you how to manage how to write properly how to structure your thoughts how to structure your content and everything and that is something that i think i really need it right now so i'm just going to take this time off practice sculpting a bit and then also completing this course and then structuring my content structuring my thought structuring and managing and planning my content and my strategy so that is what i'm going to be doing and when i come back i'll do you a solid don't worry about it i promise you uh, yeah i'm going to come back with content better than ever i i have so many ideas i have these thoughts in my mind that i've i wanted to implement but 
they are just too time consuming because i have to record them i have to edit them i have to schedule them i have to i have to plan them out i have to script them uh and it was just a bit too much for me right now so I, i'm gonna take this time off and i'm gonna start creating the content that i find most valuable that i believe is gonna be help you the most and also what was i gonna say i just completely forgot the next point i was gonna say yeah never mind <laughs> i don't think it's gonna come back so yeah i'm just gonna take this time off rethink my strategy rethink my content and then i'll i'll see you again very very soon very soon goodbye take care